Highlights from the Space Shuttle Program 1975 was the last Apollo mission. Um, that was the Apollo Soyuz. So it wasn't until 1981 that we had the capability of going back into space and that was with the Space Shuttle. What distinguished the Space Shuttle from previous spacecraft was that it was designed to be reusable. Almost all of the parts were reusable with the exception of the external fuel tank. That's the large fuel tank. That part was not reusable, um, but the orbiter was, as were these smaller things. That's the solid rocket boosters, SRBs. There's one on either side. Those were reusable. So this was meant to be uh, more cost efficient. First launch was 1981, and this is the picture of it, and that was Discovery. And uh, it was a two-man crew, and they mainly just tested it out in orbit, make sure everything worked. Remember Valentina Tereshkova in 1965 being the first woman to go into space? Well, it took the United States a little while. Uh, it wasn't until the 1980s that Sally Ride became the first U.S. woman to go into space. 1986 was our first shuttle disaster. That was the Challenger explosion. This was due to uh, a faulty O-ring that had frozen and cracked and it caused fuel within the solid rocket booster to mix that wasn't supposed to mix and it uh, exploded during launch. Eileen Collins became the first woman to pilot the shuttle and then the first woman to command a shuttle. The pilot and commander positions required um, military jet experience. And Eileen Collins was in the Air Force flew military jets, and so she was the first female astronaut eligible to fill these roles. John Glenn, first American to go into orbit, went up on the space shuttle in 1998. He was 76 years old, and he basically flew as a guinea pig, um, testing the effects of weightlessness on the elderly because many of the issues that elderly face, osteoporosis, muscle deterioration, interruptions in sleep patterns, problems with the digestive system, are very similar to problems that astronauts experience in weightlessness. And so he, you know, used his position, he was a U.S. Senator, to lobby pretty hard, but he was able to uh, go up. He did have to meet the medical conditions, the physical conditions, um, which he did. And so uh, he was able to go into space for a second time. Columbia was our uh, second shuttle disaster. And in this case, it burnt up on re-entry in, in 2003. Uh, turned out that during launch, a piece of foam had fallen off of the external fuel tank had hit one of the rings, wings, not rings, wings, and uh, created a hole in the uh, heat shield. And then during re-entry, that hole caused the uh, spacecraft to be breached and to basically burn up and break apart during re-entry. 2012 was our last shuttle launch. We are currently in a hiatus between our uh, abilities to go into space. So we're using Soviet spacecraft to take us to the International Space, space Station. But we do have another uh, spacecraft in development.